Adolf Hitler was a military politician, an imperial chancellor, and a Führer. He was born on April 20, 1889, in Braunau am Inn, in the middle of the former Austro-Hungarian Empire, now Austria. Coming from a Catholic middle-class family, his father Alois Hitler, a customs officer, and his mother, Clara Ponsel, were cousins. Hitler was the third of seven children, but only him and his little sister Paula reached adulthood. Always a mediocre student, Adolf only got good grades in drawing. His father was pretty strict, unlike his mother, who was very kind and loving. They both wanted Adolf to become a customs officer, just like his father, but Adolf preferred arts. When Alois passed away on January 3, 1903, 16-year-old Adolf decided to leave his studies to devote himself to painting. He moved to Vienna to enroll in the Academy of Fine Arts, but never managed to become accepted. Years later, Adolf's mother passed away due to cancer while he was scraping by selling his paintings in the Austrian capital. Adolf then moved to Munich, Germany, and avoided being drafted into the military for years. Eventually, he was located and conscripted, but was declared unfit to serve in the army. On July 28, 1914, World War I broke out. Adolf voluntarily enrolled in the army marching to the Western Front and was designated as a messenger for the 16th Bavarian Reserve Infantry Regiment. Due to a master gas attack, he lost his vision temporarily and later on he was bestowed the Iron Cross for military merit, which he would proudly flaunt years later. Once the war was over, with Germany's defeat, Adolf suffered a devastating blow. When he recovered, he kept working in the army as an educator for the troops devoted to predicating nationalism and giving many conferences related to that ideology. Over time, his ideas became more and more fanatical, disillusioned with the new democratic regime of the Weimar Republic, and whose politicians he accused of betraying Germany by accepting the humiliating conditions of the Treaty of Versailles. By 1919, Adolf was a spy for the army. One of his missions was investigating a small German political party directed by Anton Drexler, which promoted nationalist and far-right-wing ideologies. Adolf didn't take long to become the main leader of the party, renaming it National Socialist German Workers' Party, or Nazi Party for short. His ideology was fueled with the fears of the German middle class facing the uncertainty of the modern world. Shortly after, he created the Sturm up Thailand, also known as the SA or the Brown Shirts, an assault group made up of war veterans who started to violently attack opposing political groups as well as Jewish people. That same year, Adolf adopted the swastika as well as the Italian fasted salute of raising the arm. At the beginning of 1921, Adolf, as the great public speaker that he was, managed to increase the ranks of his party thanks to his polemic speeches against Marxist groups and Jewish people, accusing them of being the cause of losing the war and the current economic crisis, using them as scapegoats. Encouraged by this growth, he decided to try and subjugate the national government by force to take their power, but failed. He was arrested, judged, and sentenced to five years in prison for high treason, although he actually spent only nine months in jail time he used to materialize his authoritarian political ideas in a book titled My Struggle, Mein Kampf, an autobiography that would provide an outline for his future actions. When he was released from prison, Adolf rebuilt the Nazi party by working with a group of loyal followers and collaborators, as well as creating different institutions for the party. Due to the Great Depression of 1929 and the political difficulties the Weimar Republic was going through, the Nazis' party's promises of jobs and abolishing the Treaty of Versailles provided them with a growing audience, willing to listen to their demagogic propaganda wrapped in a paraphernalia of parades, flags, anthems, and uniforms, skillfully combining politics with the illegitimate use of violence on the streets. The Nazis started to gain voting weight until Adolf was appointed as head of government by President Hindenburg in 1933. After Hindenburg's death, Adolf proclaimed himself Germany's Führer. With little impact at first, he slowly pulled the strings to eventually obtain complete power. He declared new parliamentary elections, and with the burning of the Reichstag, he declared the state of emergency in the country, and he was successful. 
In March 21, 1933, Adolf Hitler inaugurated the first parliament of the Third Reich. And two days later, a law was approved which granted him almost absolute power over the country. With all that power at hand, Adolf rearmed the military and increased its capacity. He then signed alliances with the Italian, Japanese, Hungarian, Bulgarian and Romanian governments, commonly known as the Axis powers. In 1936, the Spanish Civil War broke out and Adolf would use Spain as the testing grounds for his new airplanes, with the pretext of helping Francisco Franco carry out a coup d'etat against the Republic. That would be the first time in history where civilian areas were bombarded. After an axe in Austria and the Sudetenland with the invasion of Poland, Adolf starts World War II. His army invades France, the Netherlands and Belgium, and he persuades Mussolini to join the war. After each victory of his army, more and more deported people are taken in trains to concentration camps or are executed in place. The Nazi army then bombards the main cities of Great Britain and the military bases at the south of the country. They also tried to invade Russia, but failed mainly due to the early winter. In 1941, Adolf Hitler declares war to the United States after Japan bombarded Pearl Harbor. This leads to the governments of Great Britain, the United States and the Soviet Union to form an alliance against the Axis powers. From that point on, Hitler's expansionist future started to lose steam with the Soviet army gaining ground through the Eastern Front and the Battle of Normandy's beaches through the Western Front. Some of Hitler's less fanatical officials decided to conspire against him to end the war. In July 20, 1944, Klaus von Stauffenberg placed a bomb in Adolf's Wolf's den. However, the attack failed and it only slightly injured the Führer. This resulted in unprecedented repression, with more than 5,000 people arrested and more than 200 executed, including the entire families of the main conspirators. With the Soviets only a few kilometers away from Berlin, Adolf gave his last orders from his underground bunker under the German Chancellery. In April 29, 1945, he married Eva Braun his official lover, and finally, on April 30th, he commits suicide with his wife by shooting himself in the head. Their bodies were cremated by the Führer's request. Adolf Hitler is one of the most sinister men of the 20th century, responsible for one of the most brutal times in human history, and responsible for the deaths of millions of innocents. We hope that these horrible events never ever happen again. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!